Welcome back to Activation 55.5. Today I am thrilled to announce that I have my friend and mentor, incredible jazz vocalist turned urban homesteader, <laughs> Maureen Washington here with me today. And I have so many questions for you, Maureen, about what it was like for you to make this big transition. You were there on stage, diva of the town. You were performing regularly. You were singing your heart out. And then one day something just switched and you were ready to start gardening and start learning about the soil and getting chickens so tell us all about that <laughs> well thank you angela for having me i really appreciate it uh yeah i was the diva of the stage and now i'm the diva of the dirt <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that it was just something that was a snapshot of, of quickness it was kind of a a a gentle lure I will say it was like a luring for me. Um, 2018, uh, my patio fell apart and we needed to replace it with bricks. And the interesting thing was I go over to people's houses, you know, and if I came over to your place, you'd go, oh, let's go sit out on the deck with our tea or our wine. And I go, yeah, that's great. I had two beautiful decks at my house here and I never used them. You know, they were a place for me to walk through to go up to my studio. And we started to switch around and change that. And I just thought, why not start decorating outside? And so we bought furniture and then I started buying plants. And I had a few plants of tomatoes and peppers and things like that, just pots. But I was trying to create this beautiful thing outside. And what ignited for me was, you know, myself as an artist, it's like, this is another place to create art. Mm -hmm. So I was buying flowers and starters and things like that, like perennial plants, anything that would have a fragrance. I want to sit on my patio and have the wafting of fragrance going, you know, by me. And so 2019, that's basically what I was doing. And then 2020, as we all know, life changed. It sure did. So I was no longer essential. <laughs> Even though people were like, we need entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that was one of those things where we needed to bring joy to people who mm -hmm. were in lockdown. Mm -hmm. But for me, it just became this, again, part of that creativity mm -hmm. and to grow more, grow mm -hmm. more food, grow more, understand more. And one of the things I love about gardening is that there's no expectation. And if you fail, no big deal. Right. If I if some if a plant died, I just go buy another one and go, OK, wrong, wrong soil, wrong sun, wrong water, too much water. And I would just try again. And then there would be this beautiful fruit mm -hmm. and the reward. So what was the next step from the patio and the furniture and redesigning that and experiencing the herbs and flowers? When did you plant your first seed? <laughs> what was that like for you? Uh, planting my first seed was a bit, I think it was a bit daunting for me because I had a guarantee with buying starters and, and I could get starters for very inexpensive. And, um, but you know, people like yourself and people like my friend Annie and they, everybody, they were all doing from seed. So I was like, I'm going to try from seed because number one, it's, it is uh, way less expensive, right? So you get a nice little packet of seeds and you can plant up a whole, whole bunch and then even the next year. Mm -hmm. So uh, taking that on, it was a bit daunting, but also exciting. It was almost one of those, you know, Tom Hanks moment. Of, I have created life from seed. You know, Absolutely. There is that where you just go <laughs> right from, from this little perfect teeny tiny and some seeds are so tiny that you just so how could you have so much life in that little seed and then poof. And this is where we come to the miracle of life and the spirituality of gardening. Absolutely. Um, what ignites that miracle to take place with water and soil in the right environment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. It really, really is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's incredible, you know, because you can have some large seeds, tiny seeds, and everything that it means. You go in a little lettuce seed, you get this big, beautiful romaine. And it's just like, it's so incredible. And then it's fresh. Mm -hmm. There's no um, pesticides. There's no 
you know, unhealthy fertilizer going on it, you know that you're eating fresh, fresh food. Yes. And my next question is about chickens. When did you decide <laughs> to go into chicken husbandry? <laughs> it was Annie, um, our good friend Annie. She sent me a picture and she said, I've got chickens. And I went, oh, I would love to have some chickens. But I went, there's no way I can do them here. You know, my yard is not very big. You know, I don't have a coop. And, and her husband, Scott, said, oh, we can help her build a coop. She, we can fit one in there. And so off I went and I got myself four little chickens. <laughs> and it was, again, a mind-blowing change of life. I didn't know that chickens could be you know, basically like an outdoor pet. And they are just absolutely fantastic. Their personalities. And as we watch them grow from chick, you just, they just melt your heart. They're little angry faces. And all I want to do is pick them up and like, could you just cuddle me? And they're like, don't, don't pick me up. Don't pick me up, Maureen. And it's true. They each have their own personality, don't they? Yes, they do. It's incredible to watch. Um, and it's something to nurture in your life as well. So every morning, you know, you have that gift to go out and spend time with them, feed them, yes. make sure their water's clean. Yes. And then they give you the most precious gift back. The egg. <laughs> <laughs> a little butt nugget every single day. It's, yeah, it is. It really is a a, uh, a beautiful um, exchange of a energy. A symbiotic relationship. Yes, exactly. So 2020 through to 2022 <laughs> have been a very difficult time. And freedom has really been a theme for many people. Mm -hmm. And sovereignty. And you have your own sovereignty here, don't you? Yeah. On your suburban homestead. I mean, you have a city home with a small lot. And yet you've created so, so much here. Mm -hmm. So what has that felt like to be able to feed yourself and your family? And what led you into canning after that? <laughs> uh, you lead into canning because you have abundance. Yes. <laughs> and you go, what are we going to do with it? And a lot of times we put things, I put things in the freezer. And then because you're, oh, we need to get this out, get this out, it would go to the bottom. And then a year later, when you're cleaning it out, you go, we didn't eat the beans. We didn't eat this beautiful food that we grew. It was like, it's it's freezer burnt. So we, we got into the canning. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, coming into that place of freedom, you know, it was a dark time for many, many people. Mm -hmm. For myself and my adults here on our little urban homestead, it wasn't dark. There was life and there was freedom and there was joy and there was peace. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, I would, you know, look at my phone or see what was on the internet and that would bring darkness. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know what, Maureen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what the future is be present today. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do today? My adult Emily, because she's my other chicken mom, mm -hmm. to go down and uh, open up the chickens. Mm -hmm. And then I spend time and it's like, be, be present. And that was a huge freedom for me because everything I'm always looking at with, with gigging, it's like you're, you're, you're looking into next year, you're, you know, making arrangements. Mm -hmm. And I just need to look at what do I need to do today? And some of it tomorrow, especially when you're making bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you go, I got to make the lavon because tomorrow I want to make the bread so I can bake the bread. Exactly. The I have day. my starter today ready for tomorrow <laughs> because I know the kids will need it in two days from now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So, so those little things, but it just allowed me to really become present. There is moments where I start getting swirled in, mm. but then it's just, I stop and I give thanks to God. I give thanks for the abundance of, you know, the property that I am on and what I can actually do in it. And I, you know, I'm such a novice gardener that it's like, well, I'll grow anything. I'll try anything. <laughs> you know, it's like, can you really grow that? I don't know, but I'm going to try. And if it works. Well, the list is too long for this show. <laughs> for all of the things that you've tried and had great successes with. And I'm so proud of you, Maureen. Thank you. Yeah. And what you've just said is really significant. That being in the present moment yes. and choosing grace and gratitude for this time, this moment, right here and now, rather than getting sucked into the fear. Yes. What about living in the space where there is awe of the universe? Mm. What if what if we choose to live that way? And I think that's what gardening and chickens and nature really teaches us. Yes. So really well done. I'm so, so proud to know you. Oh, and I love you, you very, thank very you. much. You just what you just said, just makes me want to um, 
burst out into tears of joy yeah. because it's just um, what a gift what a gift I've been given this opportunity like in 2020 people were were all upset and I went I had the best summer of my life because it was this little and we didn't have much for gardens it was little bits and pieces around shrubbery where there was sun and so we'd do a little bit of gardening and then we would you know partake into some adult beverages sitting out sun tanning and it was the best summer of my life and it was that transition of working out of not worrying about tomorrow not worrying about next month next year mm -hmm. it was about i am here um i have my beautiful family around me what more what more do i need absolutely nothing mm -hmm. thank you and such rich relationships all around you yes and you just hit on something else very significant and that is the amount of power and energy that we can gain from sitting in the sunshine and mm. absorbing that rich vitamin mm. d mm. getting our hands in the soil it's mm -hmm. been proven that that's excellent for any kind of mental health struggles mm -hmm. that people are having and then connecting deeply with animals yes yeah it's all around in 2020 i did have um all my adults lived at home so there was lots but as you know, some moved out, my oldest daughter, Marissa, she has been at my side learning with me with all of this stuff. She is kind of at times the brains of the operation and some of the brawn because I'm getting old. And so she's got that power to lift. But again, it's that connection. And for us, when we go, let's take a break. The great thing is our chickens learned that word because we'd be out working on something and said, time to take a break. They would stop whatever they were doing and they would go over to our where we sat. So they would be ahead of us, you know, and it's like, oh, it's break time. Okay, Maureen, let's go take a break. And they would preen and we would get our drinks and we'd sit. But what we what we started doing was when we were taking our break, we take our shoes off mm. so that our feet are right into the soil, right into the grass. So that again, even though we're working in it, as we are pausing and at peace and at calm and relaxing, then it's like, what are we gaining from all that, you know, energy and electricity that's coming up. Exactly. There are many words for Mother Earth, Pachamama, Gaia, and she sustains us every single day. Mm -hmm. There's something called the Schumann resonance, which is a vibrational frequency that's given off by the Earth. And this year and last year, some of the days the Schumann resonance has been off the charts. They mm. can't even measure it. It's usually a wow. measurable frequency. And so with your bare feet on the ground, you're absolutely right. You're standing in the sunlight, you're receiving all of that mm -hmm. cosmic energy, mm -hmm. and then you're also absorbing the frequency with your bare feet from the earth itself. Exactly. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Now I hear you have some baby chicks. Would it be okay if I meet one? <laughs> absolutely. And look at these little babies, Maureen. Yeah, so we, tell me about this variety of chick. So we call them chicken babies. Chicken babies. Chicken yes. babies. These are little chicken babies. So this is a barred rock. And so this is the first time I've had one of these. Annie has barred rocks. I think you have barred rocks. I do. I've seen on video. Mm -hmm. And they're they're just such a unique looking bird. Yes. Um, and this is Cleo. Oh, and now Cleo. Um, just because Cleo has little dashes, white dashes on her eye, mm -hmm. and so we thought she's Cleopatra. Oh, <laughs> so so that's so her name is Cleopatra. She's the only one named so far. I I do have it out on my YouTube channel for people to help me name my chickens. Okay. But this one, um, I almost want to call her Lulu. Oh, Lulu, Lulu, I like it. Lulu Lemon. Well, let's just name her right. <laughs> it's Lulu official. Lulu Lemon. Lululemon, like she won't be yellow, but this is a Colombian rock. Yes. And so she will turn white. But she is very, um, when we bring her up, she just, she's happy just to sit in your hand. So that's why I got Marissa to, to bring her. So these ones are one week old. They, like it's, it's absolutely stunning just how fast they grow. Oh, put me down. <laughs> no, I don't want to be. I like We had uh, two beautiful chicks about this color last year and our children called them lemon cupcake and <gasps> vanilla ice cream. Aww. So I like Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's all about the reverence of life and mm -hmm. recognizing that we 
are in a miraculous time and the planet is going through a great shift mm -hmm. and so Maureen I think uh, you followed your own personal instructions from your own source connection during this time absolutely and I encourage everyone out there to do the same to get out into nature to look into gardening and look at how you can become more self-sustaining self-sustainable and so much love with these babies <laughs> little chicken babies Thank you very much for watching today. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There will be more interviews to come. And again, uh, Activation 55.5 is about freedom and sovereignty. Thank you.